In the beginning was delight. In the end will be deeper delight. And in between is the amazing story where you and I now live. We went to the Lord, and the Lord impressed upon my heart, you need to get this out in the open to so I can release you from this sin. Um, that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I did not want that thing to come out. It was stuck in my heart, the one thing I was holding on to, and he said, give it to me, take it out into the light, I will release you of it, and he did. I'm a new man in Christ now because he has completed the stages of releasing Satan's grip on my heart and my life. And what happened about an hour ago was the most amazing thing. It's crippled his life. Completely crippled him. And now, after this, he can start his own ministry. Young leaders getting equipped with Luke 10 stuff and just a community, all you guys, are sending them out to do great and wonderful things and that's what it's all about. And I saw Jesus in every single one that was sitting around that table. Different facets of Him, different giftings. ability to be so honest and raw. So um, yeah, it's hard to be a facilitator and have the cork pop and just not be <laughs> <laughs> um, but my group let me be me, so uh, they let me fall apart for a few hours and um, what I was hoping to see last night, we actually saw this morning in our group it was heaven <laughs> um, and it was just so beautiful. I just thank you all for just yeah letting us yeah letting me just uh, break my little heart for a while. I'm, I'm now able to see that I actually am a creation of God, that I am in His likeness, and that I don't have to believe that old lie. Um, you have set me free, and what that does for me is it allows me to live into God's ministry for me. He has a design and a purpose that I learned today for me, and it's wilder than any of my wildest imaginations. And I'm so excited and so thankful. this morning I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life just again absolute uh, everyone moving in sync with the spirit and blessing and nourishing one another and so I want to thank the Lord for what he did and a connection with them like it was family immediately uh, we were brothers and sisters right off the get-go right off the bat uh, laughing loving teasing um, praying play, uh, laying the hands and uh, uh, just seeing people grow and seeing spirits just being renewed, rekindled. I learned so much from you. I, it was such a, an information and, and love just avalanche. And, and true to form, Jesus totally showed up and did stuff I didn't even have planned or didn't remember and he just he just led our time together and it was wonderful to feel his presence and it was like entering into the holy of holies a way where I can get into a more natural rhythm 
um, for some of the practices here. And the Holy Spirit has given me a desire to drive after that. And um, these rhythms of life become less like uh, chores or disciplines or like something that I feel like I have to force myself to do to be a good person or to be a good Christian. And it's like I begin to desire these natural, these natural rhythms of life because that's the way that I function. That's the way that God has created me. But it really does bring you to a place where you can hear God's what to do in your life, what your next step is, where you're going, how you're heading, the, <laughs> the prayers for each other. It has well, changed everything in both of our lives. Yeah. It's, it's, it's vastly yeah. helped our marriages. Yeah. It's va <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and it, and it, it's vastly helped our ministry with our simple church and our house churches and our, min and all, and our families. I just can't believe what happened. I mean, the very thing that I have wrestled with and my beautiful bride, uh, probably even as recently as our walk. And uh, the Lord just settled it. And so I know that I take with me this gift. I mean, besides our table group, besides uh, uh, that session, a gift from this to my hand. To me. So thank you. This weekend we all came hungry and wanting something. And I know that we have all come away or coming away with um, his touch and his sweet. Just being here, um, I've been confirmed and reaffirmed about how I listen to God and that God does talk to me and that like what I have to say is something. Like what God tells me means something and that I should say what God tells me. I don't like just keep it to myself or um, you know just oh just dismiss it or whatever. And so I know that that's gonna be different too. Just my quiet times and how I interact with people every day, how I see people. This is the preparation time. I believe God is using you guys and the people you are training to be the ones that when the revival comes. I mean, you know, think about in your town. What if, what if 20,000 people met the Lord next week? What would you do? I mean, you know, how do we conserve the fruit? How do we take care of the babies? You guys are the spiritual moms and dads and the people you're training, the people you're passing on. So in the, in the grand scheme of things, this is a really important period of time. And you guys are really important to what God is doing and is going to do.